Letting go of any friend can be heartbreaking. It's like saying goodbye to a piece of yourself. You think about all the memories you made. You laughed and cried together. You shared experiences that you'll remember for years to come. But that doesn't guarantee your friendship is destined to last a lifetime. So how do you know whether or not a friendship needs to end? Here are eight signs that you're spending time with the wrong friend. One, you feel trapped. Do you feel trapped inside your friendship? Many people never escape unfair or toxic friendships because they feel stuck like a bug caught in a spider's web. In a 2000 study, Fincham and Weber explained that healthy friendships give you the option to stay or go. You should never feel obligated to maintain a friendship. It should always be your decision. If you ever feel like there's no way out, you may be friends with the wrong person. Two, you're at different stages in life. Are you and your friend at different stages in your lives? Are you focused on work while they're just trying to have fun? Many of your friendships will fade away as your priorities change. In the past, it was fun to spend time with your friend who's carefree, but now you're hoping to meet people who inspire you. If this resonates, your current friendship may not be a perfect fit. Three, your friend betrays your trust. Trust is the foundation of every lasting friendship. Does your friend break your trust over and over? Does your friend start spilling your secrets behind your back? Each time your friend betrays your trust, how does that make you feel? Embarrassed, angry, maybe even disappointed. If you know someone who constantly betrays you, they might not be a friend worth keeping. Four, your friend is living in the past. Leaving an old friend is hard. You two have so much history together. Years ago, they may have been your best friend, but are they a good influence in your life right now? Old friends often latch on to an outdated image of you. That's not always a bad thing, but good friends should foster your growth, not drag you back to the past. To learn more about this subject, check out our recent video, Six Signs That It's Time To Let Go Of A Best Friend where we explore the challenges of saying goodbye to someone you really care about. You can find this video and more valuable resources in the comment section below. Five, you're not happy around them. In a 1988 study, Adams explains that friendship and well-being go hand in hand. So ask yourself, do I feel happy and satisfied around my friend? If you do, your friendship is likely strong, healthy, and fulfilling. But what if your friend makes you feel unhappy or self-conscious? If someone is hurting your psychological well-being, you may be friends with the wrong person. Six, your friend doesn't make investments. In a 2003 study, Oswald and Clark discovered that investments demonstrate the strength of any friendship. Investments are any kind of small commitments, like letting your friend borrow your jacket. Each time you invest in someone, you're showing your faith in the future of your friendship. For example, you and your friend buy tickets for a show six months from now. You're making an investment because you're assuming you'll still be friends in six months. Unhealthy friendships usually feel unstable, like they could collapse at any moment. So pay attention to the ways your friends invest in you. Seven, your friend disrespects your goals. Does your friend disrespect your ambitions? Do they distract you, talk down to you, or belittle your goals? Friends should respect and support each other's goals. If something is important to you, it should be important to your friends too. The right friend will build you up, while the wrong friends will tear you down. And eight, your friend takes too much of your time. Is your friend taking up all of your time? All friendships require a commitment. It makes sense to dedicate a certain amount of time to keep those relationships alive and healthy. However, friendships shouldn't eat up every second of your day. The most important part of a healthy lifestyle is balance. So if your friend is demanding too much of your time, they may not be the right friend for you. Does your friend in mind display any of these signs? If so, what do you plan to do next? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.